Ahoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Monday's episode of The Voters TV. First up, in yada yada yada, we take a look at how the mega wealthy now have the option to submerge themselves in luxury. In the market for a new luxury yacht? How about a private luxury submarine instead? Check out the Phoenix 1000. This amazing 213-foot subsurface creation developed by U.S. Submarines Incorporated is currently for sale. Oh, Santa! With a generous 26-foot beam and an extremely roomy 5,000 square feet encompassing four expansive levels, this amazing undersea vessel could be all yours for a mere $78 million, give or take. The bigger sister to a fleet that includes the Triton 1000, the Discovery 1000, the 65-foot Nomad 1000, and the 118-foot Seattle 1000, the Phoenix 1000 boasts bragging rights to being the largest private undersea vessel built to date. With an unarguably elegant and comfortable interior, fully equipped galley, impressive staterooms, expensive fabrics, the finest in leather accents, large panoramic viewports, and the ability to remain submerged for days at a time, the Phoenix 1000 also offers some unique benefits over traditional yachts and super yachts. Should inclement weather arise, simply take a dive. If submerged and awaiting guests, all you need to do is to send the mini-sub up as a modified valet service. And talk about a way to avoid the paparazzi. Unlike her above-water relatives, the Phoenix 1000 can dive to an impressive 1,000 feet without any repercussions of pressure-related effects. For more information, you can visit U.S. Submarine's website at www.ussubs.com. Where, get this, they tell us they have an incentive program. Yep, they say they'll pay a minimum of $50,000 in a referral fee if you can bring them a client who can purchase one of their luxury diesel electric submarines. So if you or someone you know can afford one of these bad boys, or girls, tell them Julie sent ya. Next up, it's time for our Boat Test Reports feature of the week, where today we take a look at Yamaha's popular stand-up wave runner, the Superjet, and check out the fly moves by test captain John Wenz. Hi, I'm Captain John Wenz from BoatTest.com, and this is Yamaha's popular stand-up wave runner, the Superjet. For 2008, this boat's got an all-new hull design, which Yamaha feels makes it the best all-around stand-up machine in the industry. Let's go for a ride. The hull is where the real changes are. They've added molded-in sponsons integrated into the hull lines. These increase the wetted surface of the hull, maintaining stability on the wide open straightaways while making the turns easier to execute. What makes the Superjet go is the two-cylinder, two-stroke 701cc Yamaha engine. It features electronically controlled variable ignition timing and loop-charged combustion for outstanding performance. Finally, an extended ride plate works with the rest of the improvements to provide enhanced stability. Up top, you'll find a thickly padded riding tray, a molded-in kick step, and a spring-assisted handle pole to complement the adjustable steering nozzle. The Yamaha Superjet is 88.2 inches long, 26.8 inches wide, 26 inches high, and weighs 291 pounds dry. It has a fuel capacity of 4.8 gallons with a reserve of just under a gallon and a half. The Yamaha Superjet, a smart choice for the stand-up rider who is looking for a great all-around ride. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of Yamaha's Superjet Wave Runner, you can cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. Next up, holiday shopping time is upon us. In honor of that, in today's Just for the Hull of It segment, I'm going to get a little girly on you. <laughs> when you're out doing your gift buying rounds this season, why not pick her or him up something nautical chic? <laughs> nautical chic is one of those fashion trends that just never, ever goes out of style. 
And the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich, England is currently celebrating all the reasons why. In their exhibit, Nautical Chic, Fashion's Love Affair with the Sea, that began July 25th and will continue through December 2nd, the popular museum has filled three of their rooms with all sorts of fashion trivia, memorabilia, and historical facts on the sailor clothing phenomenon. Exploring how naval costume became a source of inspiration in pop culture through music, advertising, and on the big screen. For instance, when Queen Victoria purchased a sailor suit for her son Edward VII, which is on display at the exhibit, it quickly became a symbol of affluency. And upper class families throughout Britain, Europe, and America just had to get some for their own kids. And we all know this look. The navy striped shirt and flared bell-bottom trousers, or yachting pants, were popularized by Coco Chanel lounging around the Côte d'Azur in the 1920s. Other examples of nautical fashions as a way of expressing rebellion, the glam rock and new romanticism influence is prominently featured in the exhibit, with original outfits worn by Culture Club, Duran Duran, and Adam Ant. Oh, I just loved him when I was 10. And of course, there are the pirate-style ensembles, like Vivian Westwood's Pirate Collection from the early 1980s, and more recently from John Galliano, after the Pirates of the Caribbean movies brought that look back in vogue. To learn more about the Nautical Chic exhibit, please visit the National Maritime Museum's website at www.nmm.ac.uk. And finally today, I'm going to start revealing my TheBoaters.com profile pick of the day before our rolling credits, so none of you miss them. Drum roll, please. Julie's TheBoaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day is Captain Luis F. Lamatra and Idafix, his 1978 Ranger 22. An avid offshore sailor since the age of seven, Captain Luis is based out of Sarasota, Florida. He's not only mapped that destination for us, but also other popular spots in his sailing past, such as when he became a fixture on a CNC 38 MK3 in Boston, Massachusetts, and there's his main finishing spot for one of the long distance races he's competed in up in New England. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Boaters TV. Join us back here on Wednesday. And until then, safe and happy boating to you all. Take care.